All righty, we're ready to rock and roll. So happy Saturday afternoon, my beautiful people. Today, I'm gonna start by having a sip of this coffee from Mallorca. This is a coffee shop that has always intrigued me. I believe it's a chain, a franchise in Spain. Mallorca, a simple cafe con leche, pretty good, very good. I would give it an eight out of 10. So I'm happy with that because sometimes in Spain, I find it difficult to find a good coffee. Today's video, it's gonna move this ever so slightly. Not that way, this way, I think that's better. I'm gonna answer some cues. I'm gonna give you the A's to my cues. And now this video, I'm gonna try to keep it nice and raw. So basically no editing. I really don't even think I need to put any music because guys, let me know, do, do, do videos like this need music or not? For me, it seems like a lot of effort and really, all that's important is hearing the answer to my questions, I believe. You're not really listening, you're not really watching this video for music, I don't think so. And even if I was playing music, it would be at low volume, so you wouldn't be hearing it. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. So, obviously I'm doing this 30 day challenge and I wanna try and give you guys information in every single video, if I can, or I wanna make you at least feel some kind of emotion, provide some entertainment, provide some value, provide some information, and hopefully after you watch my video, you're either in a better mood or you've learned something. That's the aim of my channel. And I would say the third point is for you guys to get to know me better as a person. I'm trying to build my personal brand, my personal rapport. I want you guys to feel comfortable with me and I want to feel comfortable with you guys. This little setup that I have in the car is very, very good. I love being in the car. I love just going for drives. I love chilling. And obviously when I'm doing these videos, like right now it's half five. As soon as I finish this video, I'm gonna have to go to the house and I'm gonna have to edit it and upload it and this has been happening for the last six days. I've been editing all day. This video hopefully won't take as long, but typically I edit all day, I upload the video at like eight or nine o'clock, and then I go to the gym and that's my day gone. So what I'm gonna try and do is film some simpler videos like this where I can give information, I can edit it faster, I can upload it faster, and I'm still providing some value. Oh, and I'm stopped at a green light for some reason. I don't know why, that's slightly embarrassing. Anyway, you get the point. So today's video, I'm gonna sip my coffee and I'm gonna answer some of the questions I told you guys to answer, ask me on Instagram. So first question is, when are you gonna rock a mustache? Mm, honestly, probably never. I don't feel the vibes with the mustache. Some people really suit it, my friend Kevin, my friend Jorge, they're both rocking stashes and they both look really good. But for me personally, I prefer this, this kind of stubbly, just kind of, I don't know what this is, but I just prefer this style of facial hair rather than just a mustache. Oh, do I see myself becoming a father in the next three to five years? I would say, absolutely. I would love to be a father. Um, I don't exactly know the time period. I said to Cindy last night, what does she think? Just, just questioning. She said in like two years. So maybe three years, hopefully I'll become a father. I think I'd be a really good dad, to be honest. This is a good question. Did I ever feel any jealousy when working with Uncle Mike? And the answer is absolutely not. I never ever compare myself to anyone, ever. Comparison is the thief of joy. I believe that's expression. That, it might not be that expression, but I never ever compare myself to anyone. The only person you should ever compare yourself with is yourself. It's only you versus you. It's not you versus anyone else. And remember, everyone's at different levels in life. So for example, Mike, Mike is, a few more levels up than me. Mike is extremely successful, I'm super happy for him. And in fact, quite a lot of my other friends are way more successful than me. Rob Lipset, George Armstrong, all my friends are super, super successful. Like, they're all absolutely killing it and I'm fucking happy for them. I look at them and they're my inspiration, they're my motivation. All my friends are killing it. But remember, they're all at different levels. Mike, for example, is at level 60. I'm only at like, level 20. Everyone's at different levels. And remember, what determines the level of George might be different to what determines the level of Mike. So I think that one thing that I've learned from hanging around with all these guys is that none of us, I, I don't think we do, compare our levels of set, success. Like if you're happy, you're happy. And for example, if I see someone driving a Lamborghini, which I love cars, I hope one day to have a Lamborghini. I never feel jealous or feel annoyed that someone else is driving a Lamborghini and I'm not. I just know that I need to work harder, I need a little bit more time, and I need to I need to earn it. So don't get jealous of other people, don't compare yourself to other people, that's the absolute worst thing you could ever do. And I truly believe that is 
the key to my happiness is that I never compare myself to anyone else. If someone else has something and I want it, I know I need to go and work hard for it to get it. It's that simple. Next question, someone's asking where is the shirt from? In the post that I put on Instagram, the shirt is from Zara. I got it in the sale, so it's probably not still available, but it's a lovely shirt. I love that shirt. Um, probably one of the most asked questions, when am I starting OnlyFans? And for probably the 100th time, I do not plan on starting OnlyFans anytime soon. Someone's asking me, what is my body count? Jeez, I did tell people to make the question spicy, to be fair, but I am not gonna reveal my body count. Don't think that's good for anyone, but you guys can guess my body count in the comments. That's actually funny. And for those wondering what body count is, that is the number of people that I have slept with. Well, for me specifically, women that I have slept with but I will not be answering that. You can take a guess in the comments. Do I take anything to prevent hair loss? No. Um, I am conscious of hair loss though. I am receding slightly, <laughs> which is why I've got this nice long hair pushed forward to cover my recedes. I mean, finasteride, all of them things, all of those tablets that you can take to prevent hair loss. I'm a little bit scared to mess with them because they do have many side effects. To be honest, I'd rather just wait for my hairline to recede a little bit further and then I'm just gonna go to wherever for a hair transplant. Probably gonna go with Joel, we're gonna go together. <laughs> to be honest, just to be honest, but no, I do not take anything to prevent hair loss. Next question, do I use creatine and how many servings? No, folks, I do not use creatine at the minute. Haven't used it since I was like probably 19, 20, but I did see very good results from creatine. I think it's one of the best supplements you can take if you want to improve strength. So I highly recommend creatine. It's a good supplement. What was my motivation to begin fitness training? Good question. Um, my dad actually pretty much forced me to lift weights when I was about 16. And I used to hate working out with my dad. I used to train with him three times a week in my attic and I never wanted to do that. And then eventually, about a year later, started going to the gym with my friends and I was probably slightly more experienced than all of them. So I was kind of coaching my friends when we were young and we used to live for the gym when we were like 17, go to the gym, sauna, be in there for hours. That was like our social club, the gym. So I've always loved the gym, running. Running now is probably, I guess you could ask me, what is my motivation for running? And my motivation for running is just the feeling, just the endorphins after a run. That feeling after I've been for a run is the best feeling in the entire world. And I can't imagine my life without feeling that. So, the feeling. What do you ask for at the barbers? As you can see, I have not been to the barbers for, I would say, three months. And I'm not, gonna, I'm not planning on going back to the barbers. I'm just gonna keep growing it out as long as we can get it and see how it looks. What are your income sources from highest to lowest? So my income sources are, my income is pretty much all from sponsorships. So Ghost, Whoop, VQ. That's why it's really important when I ask you guys to use my code, use code Louie, or if you wanna cop a Whoop, use my link down below in the description. All my links are always down below in the description. And I do get commission, 10 or 20% on most of them. So when you guys use my links, I really, really appreciate it, so thank you. That's how I make my main source of income. And then obviously I have the Creator Club, which is my kind of online course slash community, which we now have 24 boys in, which is something I'm super proud of. Do weekly calls on that on Zoom. And then obviously we have a WhatsApp group that I'm active in all day, every day, sharing ideas, just basically helping young boys who are interested, not young boys, I mean, that's kind of patronizing me. Ages 21 to about 35, helping them try and get the same lifestyle is me so be able to travel freely work online make videos make content for brands and make money whilst doing it so they're pretty much my only two sources of income to be honest i used to have more when i used to do like kind of freelance videography and photography um but yeah that's my two sources of income what sort of things have improved since quitting alcohol buddy well actually the next video i'm going to do is I'm gonna discuss what I've learned over the last 50 days being sober um, because I've got a list probably bigger than this of all the benefits and also some things that I found just to be interesting, not necessarily benefits, but I'll talk about that in the next video. I'll do a whole video to it. 
I'll dedicate a whole video to talking about that. Are you more or less sexually active since quitting alcohol? Um, good question. Very good question. I would say that sex is probably better since quitting alcohol. I think a lot of people have, when they're having sex, they, they like to drink alcohol before they have sex. So that it's not as like awkward and like, just kind of like, sex can be like, I don't know, it's very intimate. It's a very, I'd, I'm no expert on this, but I think lots of people prefer to drink alcohol and then have sex because they're more confident, it's less awkward. But I would say that the sex has improved massively. My testosterone is definitely so much higher. I feel more corny, I guess. And I would say my, <laughs> oh, I would say my erections are stronger. So I would say definitely it's sex is better since being sober. And I don't know, it's just more, more intimate, more of a connection. I know what's going on. I'm not, I'm not drunk having sex, so like, yeah, I think sex has improved. I would say I'm more sexually active because I am, I guess, I'm more sexually active because my testosterone's higher, so I'm more horny. That's the answer to your question. Okay, next question. How often do I wash my hair? Honestly, I wash my hair with shampoo and conditioner once a month, but I wash it with water basically every day when I'm in the sauna, when I'm in the gym. After a run, I wash it just with water. So I basically use shampoo and conditioner once a month. Would I buy a Whoop if I wasn't sponsored? So would I pay the membership if I wasn't sponsored by them? And fun fact, yes, I do get paid by Whoop, but I am still paying my membership for Whoop. And even if I wasn't sponsored by them, I would still pay for a Whoop. I think it's honestly an absolute game changer. And it tells you before you get sick, it tells you what you're doing wrong in your life. Like if you're eating too close to bed, you're gonna get a bad night's sleep. If you drink alcohol, you can have a bad night's sleep. It's just a, a daily reminder to take care of your health and to, to focus on getting a good night's sleep. I think sleep is the most important component of health, in my opinion. So I would still pay for a Whoop. What, it's like $29 a month. I'm sure we'll waste more money on that, more money on stupider things. Do I see myself staying in Madrid or is there anywhere else I would like to try? Um, honestly, I really, really love Madrid. I mean, we had the run club this morning. We had 10 people show up to the run club again today. And just, I'm, I'm building a little community here in Madrid. I'm making lots of new friends. I'm speaking more Spanish. There's so many things to do. There's lots of nice restaurants. There's lots of, lots of nice coffee shops. There's so many parks I can go to and run. I can go and play paddle. Like, I love Madrid. The, the mountains are literally 30 minutes away. I really, really like Madrid. But I think in the summer, I am gonna, of course, visit Ibiza. That's another question. When will I go back to Ibiza? I'll visit Ibiza for a holiday, for a vacation for three or four days, nothing crazy. Um, and for the summer, because it gets too hot in Madrid, so basically in the summer, I don't know how many of you guys know this, but in July and August, the whole city basically clears out and there's no one in Madrid um, because it's way, way too hot. Like in most, well, not the big restaurants, but most restaurants, cafes and all that places close down just because there's no people here. So I'm thinking for the summer, I might go to Marbella, see Rob, and Uncle Mike is thinking of also going to Marbella, so that would be good to be with Rob and Mike for the whole summer. And hopefully less temptation in Marbella than what there is in Ibiza. But for sure, I'll be going to Ibiza. And that leads on to the next question. Am I quitting alcohol forever? This is a question that I wanna cover in the next video. And it's a question that I ask myself every single day. When am I next gonna drink? And I don't really want to put a time or set a date of when I'm next gonna drink because honestly, I'm really happy right now without alcohol. But if there is a, a scenario or an event in which I feel like alcohol will aid that event and make it more enjoyable, then I'll drink, I guess, if all the boys are there. I don't know, I'll wait and see, but right now I'm not putting a time or a date on when I will next drink alcohol. And right now I'm extremely happy, so I don't need alcohol. Am I circumcised? or uncircumcised? I mean, that is just a ridiculous question. <laughs> I mean, come on guys. It is an interesting question though, but I think the majority of people in the UK are not circumcised. I don't fucking know to be honest, but I'm not circumcised. 
<laughs> that sounds so weird. What running shoes would I recommend for beginners slash intermediate? Honestly, I really like these on Cloudy Clips, I think they're called. I really, really like them. Um, I have just ordered a pair of Hawkers. Hawkers, before these, were always my go-to. So I believe I ordered the Hawker Bondi 8. So looking forward to trying them. I really like Hawkers. So I think, honestly, my biggest recommendation for most runners for their first running shoe is gonna be a Hawker. And again, it depends if you're running trails, it depends if you're running on the road, where you're running. Um, but one tip that I have is please people, avoid buying like the Nike Alpha Flies, the Nike Vapor Flies, the, the trainers with carbon plates, because as a beginner, that's just gonna give you shin splints. That's gonna actually, basically them shoes are only made for races. And if you're a runner, if you're a beginner, you should be running slowly to build your aerobic base. So don't buy carbon plate running shoes if you're a beginner. Don't buy the most expensive ones. Go for something that's gonna give you a lot of miles and that has cushion so that it's gonna prevent you from any injury. Someone's asking me, what are my top three floors? I don't really know if you can have top three floors. <laughs> but um, things that I need to work on. This is interesting, actually. I want to do a video. Well, Cindy wants to do it too on mine and Cindy's relationship because <laughs> me and Cindy have been doing a lot of work recently on our relationship. We've both been going to therapy individually and together as a couple. Um, again, this is quite intimate and private, but I'm happy to share it if it helps you guys. And I think a lot of people honestly need relationship advice. And I feel like I'm right now in a really good place to give relationship advice because I've had my ups and downs, I've got experience, and I think a lot of people aren't really self-aware when it comes to relationships and love and all of that stuff. People are scared of getting hurt. So I would like to give some advice on relationships. Let me know, guys, if you would like to see that type of thing. Um, so top three flaws. One, I'm very jealous. Very, very jealous. Number two, I hate being alone. That's definitely a flaw. Number three, mm. number three, it's hard, it's hard. I'm pretty perfect. No, I'm joking. Um, I have many flaws, but I would say probably one that's been really holding me back is just my willpower when it comes to diet and nutrition. My diet is absolutely terrible and I really, I really do want to fix that. So I would say my willpower with food, sorted out with alcohol, but food is a problem. I've been eating, I've got lots of snacks. I'm actually gonna stop in a minute and have some snacks. Oh, and I'll say one more, I'll say one more flaw. Time management. My time management is absolutely terrible. What is my waist size? So I actually can't believe it. I'm down to like a 30, 31. And my whole life, literally my whole life, I've always been 32. So I'm actually shocked and I'm very happy about that. I think a slim waist is good. I need to build my lats more so I can get that kind of V taper shape that everyone likes. My back is probably my downfall, to be honest, in my physique. It's not, not that good. I would like to build my lats. My waist is, I've lost a lot of weight, so I'm feeling very happy about that, to be honest. I'm very proud of myself. The last two questions are, tell us how you lost your virginity. <laughs> Absolutely not, because that is a, certainly an embarrassing one. It's nothing, <laughs> well, no, I can't, I can't tell you that one. What are your biggest turn-ons? I mean, I guess I could answer that one. For me personally, my biggest turn on, and this specifically applies to Cindy, is confidence. I love a girl with lots of confidence. And Cindy, Cindy has the most confidence I've ever seen. Like, she will just, she believes she can do absolutely anything. And I respect that, and I love that. And she's not scared of trying, she's not scared of failing. Like today, I have to say this as well. Remember the last video that I filmed and we were trying to get Cindy's 5K time. Cindy today in the Madrid Run Club ran a 31 minute 5K 
with all the team. I am literally blown away. That is seriously, seriously impressive, considering she literally started running two weeks ago and she's ran probably four times. She's ran a 5K three times in her life, and today she did it in 31 minutes. So honestly, a huge well done to Cindy. I'm seriously, seriously impressed with that. I couldn't, I couldn't be more proud, to be honest. I'm honestly blown away. I'm gonna pull in here and eat some snacks. But yeah, my biggest turn on, I would say, is confidence. And again, that kind of applies in the bedroom too. Cindy's very confident in the bedroom, which makes it a good experience for me. Right, let's have a look at what these snacks are saying. So in here we've got a little sandwich, chicken and bacon, but let's see. Mmm, I'm very impressed with that. Also, I know I keep going on, but this is honestly so weird for me. Two months now, I've had blocked sinuses. So when I wake up in the morning, this is also bad for my sleep. I can't, I can't breathe through my nose when I'm sleeping because it's that congested and blocked up. And when I wake up in the morning, it's horrible. I go, go in the shower and just, it's just not a vibe. I can't basically breathe out my nose. And if I put my head forward like that, I can feel like pressure in my forehead. I've had it for two months, took antibiotics, they did nothing. Now I've got a really strong nasal spray, which clears it for like an hour, but I'm only allowed to use it for three days. So I don't know what to do about my congestion. I believe a cronut is a cross between a croissant and a donut, but this box seems impossible to get into. Look at that. Oh shit. Oh my goodness. A cronut. Looks like it's got little bits of bacon on, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake. I am literally making such a mess of my car. Mmm. That is very interesting. It's savory. I thought it was going to be sweet. No. No, no, no. No. A donut. A croissant. It's got cream in the middle and it's savory with bacon and cheese. And it's just confusing my taste buds completely. I'm not vibing with that at all. Okay guys, so not to end the video on a negative, but that was not a vibe, that little silly donut thing. Anyway, I wanna wrap up the video here. I wanna say, first of all, thanks for watching. I want you to do me a big, big favor. Leave a like on the video, drop a comment, give me some feedback. All you guys who have been commenting on the videos, leaving positive feedback, I can't thank you enough. Honestly, this sounds weird, but waking up in the morning and reading all the positive YouTube comments literally makes my day, puts me in such a good mood. And yeah, so thank you for the really kind comments. I really, really appreciate it. And again, give me video ideas, give me video suggestions. Tell me how, how I can do a Q&A differently. Tell me, what, tell me what you would like to see, because I'm open to anything. I'm, these 30 days, is basically a trial to see what's gonna work on my channel, to see what you guys enjoy and to see what I enjoy making. So yeah, leave a like, drop a comment, make sure to hit subscribe. We are trying to grow the channel and I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed. Other than that, I wish you a happy Saturday. And if you're watching this tomorrow, I wish you a beautiful Sunday. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.